The municipality of Bologna, Italy, is planning to implement a social credit score. It's the first in Europe, but don't worry, it's a soft social credit score, or it's a rewards-only social credit score. So everyone should be fine. It's totally unlike what they're doing in China, we are assured. So, sorry, it's not a social credit score. It's a smart citizen wallet, wherein people can receive digital points based upon their virtuous behavior. These are all the different buzzwords that they're throwing around to make us feel better about their establishment of a social credit score in Europe. And they're trying to distinguish it from the Chinese social credit score using a variety of methods. The foremost amongst them is that it's voluntary. For now. I mean, I don't think it's going to stay that way. And further, that it's only rewards based. That is, there are no penalties for your lack of virtuous behavior, right? So you, you simply get money in the form of digital currency for doing things that the government approves of and things that the government considers to be virtuous, like recycling or using public transportation. And I'm sorry, but instituting a rewards-only social credit score is just not how life works. It's not how money works. If one guy gets bonuses for recycling or using a bus, his neighbor is effectively punished, has less funds, because he wasn't given the same bonuses, and thus the playing field is now offset. That's the way that it works. And again, these rewards are a digital currency that would then facilitate purchases. And of course, all of this is just the very first level. Why would we expect there not to be points deducted later for perceivably poor behavior in the eyes of the government? You've been burning tires in your backyard. I don't know. Um, no, seriously, uh, it seems very likely that at some point they're going to come and say, okay, we're going to take some of those points away, some of the, that, effectively that money away from you because you didn't do this thing that we wanted you to do. It's all about the government placing pressure on people, but it's more than that. So you're already creating a framework of constant monitoring in order to see what people are doing and then to assess whether or not they're being virtuous in one way or another. In China, as we've seen, they use uh, face recognition in order to track when a person is doing certain things and then to reward them or punish them uh, on the basis thereof. And in Europe, there was a law that was almost passed but didn't actually go through that was going to ban facial recognition for the use inside of uh, social credit score systems. Because there is a, a concern about that happening, and I do think that it's, it's inevitable in some of the more despotic regions, and those despotic regions have been well, expanding, you might say, if you look at what happened during COVID and basically everybody in the Western world lost his or her rights. Now, for those who don't know, those in China with poor social credit scores have their ability to travel uh, severely restricted, they have reduced internet speeds, they have poor job opportunities compared with others, and their kids can't get this, the best education either. The ramifications are actually very severe. Now, the success or failure of this program, this sort of test bed over there in Bologna, Italy, will likely affect the rest of Europe in time as different, you know, mini tyrants uh, throughout Europe look upon this and see just how effective it was. And it wouldn't surprise me at all to see this take place also in some more leftist regions here in the United States, like places like New York City or perhaps some places in California, as they also test that a lot like they had tested UBI and, and similar schemes. But really, you have to ask yourself, do you want a system where the government is constantly monitoring you, identifying you by facial recognition or otherwise, and then creating digital wallets for you so they can control how much money you have on the basis of your perceived virtuousness in the, in the eyes of the government as if it were ever a good judge of virtuousness, um, and then affecting your future opportunities on the basis of that, and also penalizing your fellow citizens for whether or not they also can comply with the government well enough. I don't think any of us, uh, any of the sane amongst us, want that.